Ferns are an ancient and diverse group of plants. Maidenhair ferns, often described as graceful or delicate with their curved and radiating structure, are easy to recognize. They can be found in rich, hummusy soils, often in wet areas with considerable shade or northern exposures, sometimes in large colonies, or on rocks and steep slopes. Though they're not common here, once you know where they like to be, you'll find them. Some other ferns look delicate, but none are structured like adiantum. The slender dark purple to black stipe and rachises suggest the hair in the maidenhair name. It's also sometimes called the five-fingered fern because of the main finger-like pinny. The paired leaves remind me of winged seeds, delicate with visible fine venation. The end leaf of each pinna has a single ginkgo-like leaf. The structure is unique. Note the wood fern with the two base pinny and the rest of the frond above. Maidenhair have the same upper frond, but the basal pinny have been repeatedly divided into a curving arc on each side. Let's look at an example in place. A stipe that holds the fern up. Main rachis or medial segment. Subdividing side pinny. Simple leaf member of each segment. All come together to form a symmetrical, arcing, unusual fern. Adding to the oddness, the sori, or spores, are produced on the leaf bottom margins and are reflexed or bent over. There is wonder to be found in the patterns and structures of living things. Beauty, too, that is not diminished by a closer look or by wondering why a thing is this way and not that way. Like why maidenhair ferns, the adiantum genus, have evolved a different way of being a fern over many millions of years.